Hello everyone, my name is Grace and today I am going to read the Bible story. <laughs> today I am going to read... Oh, sorry. The Harry Tale. A Harry Harry Tale. Sounds on Judas chapter thirteen to sixteen. Actually, I have eaten very spicy food, so <laughs> it is very hot. Again, God's people disobeyed him, so God let the Philistines roll over them for forty years. Then he chose a man named Samson to set them free. Okay. The people of Babylon treated the Israel very badly because Israel didn't obey God. An angel promised Samson's mother that she would have a son. Samson would have to make three promises to God. Never drink wine, never touch bad, bad things, never cut his hair. So, an angel came to Samson's mother. He promised that he will have a son. And there was a strict promise. Let's see what this those three promise. Okay, never drink wine. Never touch the dead things. Number three, never cut his hair. God made Samson very strong. He killed a lion with and bees made honey in its body. Samson touched the dead lion, breaking one of his promise to God. He even ate the honey. So, Samson killed a lion with his hands. And he touched and the bunny bees was came, coming and made the honey and Samson touched and also eat it. Oh. He has broke the promise of to God, right? Question. Samson had promised to God that he would never drink wine, never cut his hair, and, and touch dead things. True. Samson had strict promise to God. Samson fell in love with a woman named Delilah. The Philistine promised her lots of money to this cover why Samson was strong so strong she asked him again and again 
So Samsung fell in love with the tail lot when he was Palestine's. And so Darilla was keep asking and Samson lied for two straight times. Then let's see what next happened. <laughs> Finally, Samson told Darilla his secret. If my hair is cut, my strength will go. So while he slept, Darilla, while he slept, sleep, Darilla called for a man to cut up his hair. Samson strong left him. So finally Samson told Darilla. And when he sleeps, he has cut his hair. While the Palestines arrived, they captured him easily. They blinded him, then they put him in the prison and sent him to work, drawing a heavy grinding stone. So, Samson finally told and break God's premise. So he have worked hard in the present. If all Samson has obeyed his parents and God, and then he will not be like this. who convinced Samson to tell his secret and disobey God by having his hair cut? Number one, there are a lot, right? Slowly, Samson's hair grew back. The Palestines brought Samson into Samson into their temple to thank their false god Dagon for defeating him. Samson asked God to make him one more strong. So everyone was in the temple. All Palestines were there. So they were thanking to the false god. So Samson prayed to God, please give me one more chance, one more strength. Samson stood between two pillars and pushed on them. The temple fell down, killing all the Philistines and Samson with them. Samson didn't keep his promise, but God kept his. So, 
finally got help. Samsung didn't keep his promise, but God has kept his promise. Question that God makes Samsung strong one last time so that his people would be free from the Palestines? Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? And next time I will read another story. Then bye!